You're watching Long Shot TV, presented by BMW Trailer Hitches, the last trailer hitch you'll ever need. Coming up this week on Long Shot TV. These king mackerel down here in South Carolina, they just know when there's a tournament going on because as soon as the tournament comes around, they're the hardest fish in the ocean to find. Anything's possible when you're fishing these tournaments. Jesse, talk, just talk to me, man, talk to me. Well, I'm already starting to get nervous. Yes, sir. Get the bag, get the fish bag. God, that was him, wasn't it? That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Today, me and Jesse's heading out in the ocean to try to pre-fish before one of our king tournaments. We signed up for a series of tournaments this year, and today what we're going to do is just get a real good bearing on where we want to fish at. Once tournament day arrives, what we need to do is find our bait source. Uh, hopefully, we'll catch some bluefish. Hopefully, we'll catch some pogies. Here we go. Got a little number, one Clark spoon with pink on it. That's all you need to catch a bluefish. But once tournament day arrives, if the bait's hard to find, we'll be fishing when the other boats are on the beach looking for bait, and that gives us the advantage over the other guys. We got our bait caught several days before. It's fresh, it's live. If we can have the bait and have a good plan on tournament day where to go, it makes you feel confident in your spot and possibly winning the tournament, if not placing very high. So today, we're just gonna be pre-fishing up and down the coast of North and South Carolina. So this is what we're after. See how it caught him right there in the mouth? That's what we're after, a pretty blue fish. One of the most important things when I fish a tournament is having good bait. And you can never have enough bait. I've seen it where the bait was really hard to get before a tournament if we have a blow or something happens the night before and you spend half a day on the beach, running all up and down the beach 50, 60 miles trying to locate bait. And when you're doing that, you're wasting your time that you could be fishing for that big tournament. We're gonna up a bottom rig here. Good buddy of ours, Captain Ryan's over there with a charter, and he's catching a lot, a lot of bluefish right on the bottom with cut bait. They quit biting our spoons. We're gonna switch over and try to see if we can't get a few on the cut bait. Sometimes it works a little better. I've always liked competing against others, and I just like the pressure on myself. And when I got pressure on me, I actually do better because I'm, I've always tried to be the best at whatever I may do. There's another um, thing I like about the tournaments that drive me to fish them is the money. All right, it looks like a 40 pound king. It's almost like buying a, that big lottery ticket and scratching it. I don't buy lottery tickets, so I feel like I got a better chance of catching a big fish and winning one of these tournaments. Well, it's about 11.30. Um, me, Adam, Jesse have been working hard this morning trying to catch bait. Uh, the tide was still falling pretty good when we got here. Uh, it started off really good. We caught quite a few blues right from the get-go, and then the rest of it just kind of slowed down, and we've just been steady picking at them. Jesse's wrapping the lines up right now. We're going to make about a four-mile jump, run up the beach, put this bait in our bait pen, and regroup and come back out tomorrow. Uh, if I catch bait a day or two ahead of time, I actually like pinning the bait up, and what I mean by pinning the bait up, I come back to my dock, I catch the bait the day before, and I have a custom bait well tank built. Um, pretty much it's a big water tank, like a 500 gallon water tank. And I take my whole solar drill, and punch a ton of holes in it where it'll actually sink down in the water. And it'll have fresh salt water pushing through it. And once in a while, I even put a pump on it, the, like a circulating pump to circulate the water. And um, I actually will feed the fish just like I'm raising fish and I'll keep them in the pen. Sometimes as many as three or four days uh, if the water's a little cooler. Um, but if the water's real hot, it's hard to keep certain bait, you know, um, over three or four days. But usually we try to catch it the day before and just have the freshest bait possible. 
we got plenty. I think we put about 20 baits in there. If we can get 20 for the next couple days, that'll give us 60, 70 baits to fish. That'll give us plenty of bait for the whole tournament to fish a two-day event. To keep up with all the fishing action, check us out on the web. Built for the guy who has everything and needs to tow it. The tow and stow is equipped with multiple ball sizes and adjusts in one inch increments to the height of your trailer for level towing. Best of all, it stows when you aren't using it, away from your shins and garage door. Machined from American steel with a two stage finish, the tow and stow is the last hitch you'll ever need. Financing. No credit check needed. Carrier, turn to the experts. Atlantic Heating and Cooling. Be cool, y'all. Our favorite memories come from days spent on the water with family and friends. And since 1998, Yellowfin has been committed to helping families do just that. Spend more time together boating and fishing. To make these days more memorable, Yellowfin builds the highest quality boats in sizes from 17 to 42 feet with legendary attention to detail and designs that give you the ultimate in style and performance. Owning a Yellowfin makes a statement, signaling to the world that you'll accept only the very best. Tillman Insurance is one of the oldest, most reliable insurance agencies on the Grand Strand. We have been with Tillman Insurance for over 50 years. Tillman Insurance was always there to take care of us with terrific service. Homeowners, auto, business coverage, and financial services. Committed to offering quality service for over 67 years. For more information on how Tillman Insurance can meet your personal and business needs, contact us or visit our office at 905 2nd Avenue North, North Myrtle Beach. Long Shot TV, presented by B&W Trailer Hitches, is brought to you in part by Yellowfin. Build your legacy. Tillman Insurance. Atlantic Heating and Cooling, Thompson Roofing, Crestcom Bank, Southeast Farm Equipment, a backyard creation, a full service pool and spa company, and Chris's Pizza and Pub in Little River, and Main Slice in North Myrtle Beach. jetties uh, trolling for some blue fish the sun's just starting to get up good and normally um, they don't really bite till the sun gets up good but we got a couple planers down a couple two ounce weights back long on the Christmas tree rig and I'm uh, hoping to knock some blues out fairly fast here this morning yesterday we caught quite a few of them but we're getting prepared for the US Open King Mackerel tournament and as soon as me Adam and Jesse catch these blue fish this morning we're gonna run about 16 miles offshore and try to locate a big king mackerel and just do some um, spot hopping today, try to locate some big fish for tomorrow. Tomorrow's the first day of the tournament. So as the daylight's burning down, I'm thinking about the tournament the next day and getting really excited and it just feels like the pressure's already starting to be poured on. And uh, you know, we're not rolling out to the next morning at 6.30, 7 o'clock, but there's just several thoughts going in my head. You know, once you put a game plan together for the tournament the next day, you're always, you know, sometimes I always question, you know, question myself, wait, did you make the right decision? And I'll usually have sometimes two or three game plans just for backup, because something always seems to happen. It could be weather related, it could be the boat breaks down, anything's possible when you're fishing these tournaments. So I just got multiple things running through my head. I wanna make sure I make the right decision. If that if that don't pan out or no fish is there, or something happens, you know, I have game plan number two or three. So I'm already starting to get nervous, uh, you know, and excited about thinking about tomorrow morning starting this king fishing tournament. Well, we just arrived at our first spot. Jesse just got a big old blue fish rigged up. Hopefully get a little bit of action here. Probably gonna give it here at least an hour try it and see what happens and then maybe move on to another spot if we don't find nothing. But the first spot I came across, we actually marked pretty good. Um, marked a lot of bait, hard bottom and a lot of bait up in the water column. So I think we may get one here. Look right here, nice mark right here. A lot of bait here, Jesse. 
We're sitting in 33 foot of water. So I'm gonna drop this bait down and get him in the shade a little bit. Sometimes in Ben Kings, they'll like to sit deep, um, especially when you get about midday. The water tends to be a little bit cooler down there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna send him down to that 15 foot mark. So we'll give it a minute and see what happens. So definitely today, these fish are not biting as good here as they were yesterday. And that could be ser several different things. I've seen these kingfish shut right down on biting. You know, with a certain wind, it, the wind may be blowing out the north, northeast, and then all of a sudden it comes out the southwest and it just seems to shut the bite down for a little bit. Hey, uh, I was going to see if y'all have caught any kingfish off the pier today. Haven't? Alrighty. Thank you. I ain't caught them at Ocean Crest either. These king mackerel down here in South Carolina, they just know when there's a tournament going on because as soon as the tournament comes around, they're the hardest fish in the ocean to find. I just gave to show you about a king bite a couple of days ago. This place right here, you can see in the background, was red hot, caught some big fish in the 30s and the 40s. and. Um, North of us here, another eight miles, caught some big fish there. I mean, it's fishing, you never know. I mean, they change with the way the wind blows every day. I don't know, it's just nerve wracking when you have so much money tied up in one of these tournaments, three or $4,000 with fuel entry fees, Calcutta's and all that. We take it very serious. Um, when you put a week of time into this away from your other job, pre-fishing, um, and as much money as we invest in it, we take it very serious. So me and Jesse caught our bait all week long. We feel good about the bait. Hopefully, it's still alive when we go for and check in about an hour from now. And now we're just kind of scratching our heads, not knowing what to do for tomorrow. Normally, we like coming up with a game plan, but this makes you second guess yourself when you're sitting here with a couple other boats. No bites going on. Called the pier that haven't been catching that fish. Hopefully, we hear some good news, or we're just going to pick a go with our, our gut tomorrow and grind it out. These places we're fishing are good kingfish areas for a big kingfish this time of year. So we're just looking for one fish, not, not tons of them. We're just looking for one big fish. To keep up with all the fishing action, check us out on the web. We know about your big old truck and that trailer that you tow. We even heard about your toys. So, what's holding it all together? Good thing you know who to trust for trailer hitches. B&W Trailer Hitches. Trusted. Our favorite memories come from days spent on the water with family and friends. And since 1998, Yellowfin has been committed to helping families do just that, spend more time together boating and fishing. To make these days more memorable, Yellowfin builds the highest quality boats in sizes from 17 to 42 feet with legendary attention to detail and designs that give you the ultimate in style and performance. Owning a Yellowfin makes a statement, signaling to the world that you'll accept only the very best. My claim to fame is fresh and local seafood. A grouper sandwich or a grouper dinner, you can't beat it. This is what we use in our restaurant. This is what has made us famous. Whether it's grouper or fresh catch of the day, we'll prepare it the way you want, whether a sandwich or dinner or blackened or grilled or fried. All right, you guys can have a crab leg special over here, a three pounds. It's usually one to two day old fish that will wait as packed out on a long shot charter fishing boat and uh, comes right into crab catches, as fresh as can be. Tillman Insurance is one of the oldest, most reliable insurance agencies on the Grand Strand. We have been with Tillman Insurance for over 50 years. Tillman Insurance was always there to take care of us with terrific service. Homeowners, auto, business coverage, and financial services. Committed to offering quality service for over 67 years. For more information on how Tillman Insurance can meet your personal and business needs, contact us or visit our office at 905 2nd Avenue North, North Myrtle Beach. Built for the guy who has everything and needs to tow it. The tow and stow is equipped with multiple ball sizes and adjusts in one inch increments to the height of your trailer for level towing. Best of all, it stows when you aren't using it, away from your shins and garage door. Machined from American steel with a two stage finish, the tow and stow is the last hitch you'll ever need. 
You're watching Long Shot TV, presented by BMW Trailer Hitches, the last trailer hitch you'll ever need. Well, this is the first morning of the U.S. Open King Mackerel Tournament. And uh, there's a lot of boats in this tournament, 400 plus boats. And uh, we just got our baits in the water. Checkout was at seven. We got a holder number up right there at the Tillman Dock in the Intercoastal Waterway. That's where all the boats met up. There's four checkout stations. That's where we chose to check out. It's the closest location to where we're going to be fishing at today. But right here, you can see we're just fishing off the Cherry Grove Pier. We've caught some decent fish here earlier in the week. Been catching bait here, so um, they don't pay you to run all over the ocean. But as you can see behind us, both pretty much 360 degrees around us, there's boats racing all up and down the beach trying to locate bait. We actually found bait here a few days ago. Word got out to a couple other boats, and um, sure enough, they must have been 100 boats here this morning looking for bait, and they're just kind of racing all up and down the beach. Luckily, me and Jesse and Adam and been prepared. We spent all week catching bait, bluefish on the beach all week, pinning it up, and uh, instead of looking for bait this morning, we're actually fishing. So the more time you can spend fishing with the lines in the water, the better your chances are. And I also feel like we're a little bit separated from the rest because we've got some really nice baits. We got, you know, big bluefish about that big. Most people ain't gonna take that extra effort to catch them. Your serious tournament fishermen will, but um, not your everyday fishermen. Uh, they're not gonna spend the extra time to catch them, but I really believe that's gonna set us apart from the rest of the day is the type of bait we got and fishing early. So me and Jesse's got all the lines out, we're dragging around, and it's like sometimes you get comfortable just sitting there and waiting for that rod to go off. It could go off in, in 30 seconds or three hours, or it may not go off the whole entire day. You just never know, but you, it's like you can never be prepared for that bite. And when it strikes, I mean, it's like you get a shot of adrenaline. I mean, you're just wide open. It, it's hard to explain. It's almost like buying that lottery ticket and you know you got the winning ticket, but you're holding it out the car window. It could just blow away and someone else grabs it. Well, that's kind of how I feel when I got this big fish on. So we got a good fish on now and uh, the stakes are high. This could be a $100,000 fish. We don't know yet. Me and Jesse has not seen the fish. Only thing we hear this fish doing is peeling drag off. Stay calm. So Jesse's fighting this fish. He grabs a rod. He's steady burning down. And, and I'm extremely excited. I'm telling Jesse to stay calm, stay calm. And he seems like he's a lot calmer than I am. But I'm, I'm pumped up myself, hollering and yelling and stuff. And I'm telling him to stay calm like I'm calm. Yeah, right. We're both uh, really excited, and we have a lot to lose here if we lose this fish. I mean, he could be a $5,000 fish, or he could be a $100,000 fish. Only thing we know, we need to get this fish up by the boat where we can take a look at him and see, is this fish worth gaffing and putting in the boat? Hit him right there. Yes, sir! Good fish. Good fish. Get the bag. Get the fish bag. Guys, yeah, this is a nice king for the U.S. Open this morning. We're just getting going. Um, we're right off the cherry grove here. We've had uh, baits in the water for maybe 45 minutes or so. I'm trying to hold this fish down. Got a bunch of boats catching bait around us. Uh, we don't want them to see us holding this fish up, otherwise it'd be like a pack of wolves on us. So um, we're gonna try to plug him up and get him in the fish bag real quick. He ain't gonna win the tournament, but it's a nice team to start the morning. Yeah, beautiful fish here. Guys, we just got one in the boat. I say it's probably 25, he ain't gonna win the tournament. Definitely good fish to start the day off with. Definitely good points fish. Um, I wish we could have held up to a little better picture for you guys to show you, but we got three or four other boats around us and we're trying to keep this on the down low. Uh, maybe these other guys will pull out of here and leave. If you hold a fish up like that, they'll sit here all day. And an hour we're we'll liable to have 100 boats sitting here just shutting the bite right down. So um, feel really good about it. We're going to get the baits back out, hang in here, and see what we can get done. God, that was him, wasn't it? King Mackerel, son. Well, here we go right here. Here's a big blue, one of the biggest ones we had left in our baits. And uh, you can see uh, this one right there. Well, me, Jesse, and Buck had a pretty good day um, for starting the U.S. Open King Mackerel Tournament. 
Um, it's been a pretty slow day. Uh, we finally got one bite, caught one fish. Uh, it's a pretty good fish. It's not a tournament winner, I don't believe, but it's a good points fish. So uh, tomorrow, if we can pull something out of the hat, put another 35, 40 pound fish with it, and then we may have some. But we're, we're looking for one big fish to win the tournament, but we'll take two combined fish. You know, they have TWTs, not necessarily you have to win the biggest fish to win other prizes. So there's a lot of money in this tournament, a lot at stake, but we're gonna wrap these lines up, get, um, get this fish iced properly, and push the throttles up. We gotta be there within 45 minutes at a check-in point to weigh this fish in. So uh, let's get it done. all the fishing action, check us out on the web. Built for the guy who has everything and needs to tow it. The tow and stow is equipped with multiple ball sizes and adjusts in one inch increments to the height of your trailer for level towing. Best of all, it stows when you aren't using it, away from your shins and garage door. Machined from American steel with a two-stage finish, the Toe and Stow is the last hitch you'll ever need. It's so hot, our AC went down, but who to call in this beach town? That cool mascot, but what's the name? Amazing Carrier Lease Purchase Financing. No credit check needed. Carrier, turn to the experts. Atlantic Heating and Cooling. Be cool, y'all. Our favorite memories come from days spent on the water with family and friends. And since 1998, Yellowfin has been committed to helping families do just that. Spend more time together boating and fishing. To make these days more memorable, Yellowfin builds the highest quality boats in sizes from 17 to 42 feet with legendary attention to detail and designs that give you the ultimate in style and performance. Owning a Yellowfin makes a statement, signaling to the world that you'll accept only the very best. Tillman Insurance is one of the oldest, most reliable insurance agencies on the Grand Strand. We have been with Tillman Insurance for over 50 years. Tillman Insurance was always there to take care of us with terrific service. Homeowners, auto, business coverage, and financial services. Committed to offering quality service for over 67 years. For more information on how Tillman Insurance can meet your personal and business needs, contact us or visit our office at 905 2nd Avenue North, North Myrtle Beach. Introducing the new E-Series tractors from John Deere. The reliable, compact, and utility tractors that get more done from sunup to sundown at an affordable price. Because nothing runs like a deer. Stop in today to discover how easily you can get your own E-Series tractor starting at just $99 per month on the 1023E. Get great deals and service on legendary John Deere equipment. Stop by our dealership today. Longshot TV, presented by B&W Trailer Hitches, is brought to you in part by Yellowfin. Build your legacy. Tillman Insurance. Atlantic Heating and Cooling. Thompson Roofing. Crestcom Bank. Southeast Farm Equipment. A Backyard Creation, a full-service pool and spa company and Chris's Pizza and Pub in Little River and Main Slice in North Myrtle Beach. This is the second morning of the U.S. Open King Mackerel Tournament. This is the last day of the tournament. The long shot crew is setting really good right now. Um, out of the 450, 470 boats, we're setting 13th place. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. It was really tough fishing yesterday. We had to work hard for him. But today is a different day. We got very lucky this morning. Right off the rip, we caught bait. Um, and that's the most important. Uh, all of our bluefish didn't hold up. With Hurricane Florence, had the water all dirty up, a lot of fresh water. More, um, the fresh water content was much higher than the salt in the inland creeks and stuff where we're holding our bait. But we got good fresh bait this morning. Feel really good about this hole. We're about a half a mile off the beach. We're just a little off from the pack of boats. I'm hoping a big king is lurking in these waters and we can pull him out. We need a good 30, 35 pound fish today. So uh, keep your fingers crossed. Let's hope we can get it done.
Well, we just arrived at another location we're going to try. Got a call on the radio or actually telephone. We got uh, cell phone service. We're fishing real close to the beach today. And got a uh, oh. call. Jesse, dude, come on, man. <laughs> I should reach back here and smack Jesse. Always trying to get me. But anyway, we just arrived at a new location, and I got a call from a buddy on the cell phone. There was a bite going on down here. He lost a really nice fish, about 40 pounds, and um, we sure could use a fish that size today. If we got a 40-pounder, we would be in great shape, probably win the tournament. So we're into day two, and we're about halfway through the day, and the pressure is really on now. So like, I feel like I'm me and Jesse's in a pressure cooker. The rod finally goes off, and we're so excited to wait for that one big bite. Go, go, go. Don't walk too fast. I got this. Our adrenaline levels are very high, and we're both getting edgy with each other. Just because the pressure on, we don't mean nothing by it, but we just try to put pressure on each other. It just seems to, you know, I push Jesse, you know, he pushes me when one of us get down, and that's what keeps us motivated going, and we're grinding. You know, we're working around the clock, rigging baits, putting baits out, pulling baits in, getting lines untangled. We're grinding, trying to catch this kingfish. And the line goes off, and Jesse's up on the bow fighting the fish. I'm driving it. Jesse, talk, just talk to me, man. Talk to me. You tell me what the fish is doing, I'll keep the line off the boat. Go to the other side. Other side, he's going under the boat. Jesse's, you know, he's on edge, too. Don't want to lose it. I know I ain't going to never hear Wade shut up if I lose this fish. And I'm back here hollering at Jesse. You know, tell me which way to go, tell me which way to go. And he's telling me, shut up, pay attention. You know, I'm, I'm pointing here, so. Yeah. I'm good, son. We're both on edge. We just want to get this kingfish to the boat because it definitely sounds like it could be a pretty good one. Well, here we go, guys. This is the first fish of the day. Jesse was the man behind the reel on this, and we just got him in the boat here. Uh, so um, this is definitely a good start to go with our other fish for aggregate weight, but we're gonna hang in here and try to get a good one day. This is a good points fish here. It'll be great for aggregate weight. So now we're wrapping it up. We're down to our last hour of fishing. We just burned that last hour. We didn't catch another fish, but we do have a fish in the boat to weigh in. This is definitely not going to uh, win the tournament, but maybe it'll be good for aggregate weight or, or cow cutter, or maybe it'll be just an odd weight that we may win something. But the fish is definitely worth going to weigh in. We put this much time in. It's the last day. We're definitely going to take this fish to the scale. So we get everything tightened on the deck, the rods, the bags, all the loose stuff laying around, the camera gear. And we're getting ready to put the hammers down to the dash. We're going to be rolling about 64, 65 miles per hour for the next hour to try to make the weigh in in a reasonable time. We don't have no time to spare. And this has been a great tournament. The US Open has been going on for, gosh, 20 years or better. And um, usually it has 500 plus boats in it and a lot of big money to win. It's a great tournament. Um, I highly recommend if you're in the South Carolina, North Carolina area, that time of year when the U.S. Open is around, um, I highly recommend you fishing it. It's a great tournament, a great event, and a lot of money to win. ATMC Security is changing the way you connect with your home, making it safer, smarter, and more efficient. Now you can manage your home wherever you are with a single app. Lights, locks, thermostats, 24-hour security monitoring, and more, which means you always come back to a safe, comfortable home. Monitoring services start as low as $17.95 per month. Make your home a smart home with ATMC Security. ATMC is proud to be a recipient of the NTCA Smart Rural Community Showcase Award. This award allows us to recognize towns across Brunswick County that are able to thrive because of high-speed internet provided by ATMC. Fiber attracts new businesses to the area and supports economic development. Our network allows for advancements in technology that did not always exist in our rural community but are now possible. ATMC is proud to be your Smart Rural Community Provider. We've got a whole new way to watch TV. Introducing Merge TV from ATMC. It's your ATMC cable TV package delivered over the internet to your favorite streaming device without cable box fees. Plus you get great features like cloud DVR storage, jump back to the beginning of a show with start over and look back up to 72 hours. You can even personalize TV viewing choices for the whole family, all from the local company you know and trust, ATMC. It's the new way to watch. Merge TV from ATMC.